What's up, guys? It is Jack and Jeff from AchievementHunter.com doing a Five Facts. Jeff, today we are doing Five Facts in Fallout 3. One of the best games on the Xbox 360. One of the best games on the Xbox 360. Uh, a spectacular voice cast. Liam Neeson's in this game, right? Yeah, he is. And a whole the niece. Bunch, the niece. That's what we call him. The, the gray. The wanderer. I don't know. <laughs> you know the thing about Liam Neeson, right? What's that? Uh, cool dude. <laughs> <laughs> Likes to party. Whatever. Cool. He's Big chill. Big penis, I hear. Oh, yeah? Yeah, that's what they say. Where do you hear that? Oh, yeah. Talk to some ladies. Oh, really? We get together. We have a sewing circle. We get together. <laughs> we talk about penises. So, uh, obviously, this takes place in the uh, the sort of, like, the wasteland of, what, Washington, D.C., right? Spoiler alert, I guess, if you haven't played the game, but... Uh, and uh, Bethesda, Maryland. Bethesda, Maryland, which is, you know, nice and coincidental, seeing as how the game was developed by Bethesda as well, or they helped work on it, right? Mm hmm So, um, yeah, but, I mean, you, you love this game, right? You beat this game start to finish? Uh, yeah, sure, man. <laughs> <laughs> no? Well, I mean, yeah, I, I got pretty far. I got pretty damn far into it too. I played like, most of the DLC. I mean, there's there's some great characters in this game. I mean, like the DJ and like just the the very the various you know things in the game make it. It's a lot of fun. That's a good game, Jeff. Did no, it is a good game. Did you blow up Nuketown? No, dude, come on. What am I, some kind of an asshole that or, blows up Nuketown? What, was it was it Nuketown? Is that what it's called? No, it was called Megaton. My Megaton. My bad. Yeah. I, I got uh, Nuketown from uh, Call of Duty in my head right now. Getting your getting your games mixed up. Right? I know, Jesus, too yeah, many of them. Megaton. Well, I liked Megaton. Megaton, yeah. I, I left it alive. And something about blowing up a whole city is kind of kind of dis disheartening to me, especially, especially that early in the game. It's like, <laughs> all right, start the game. Here you go. Here's controls Kaboom. and boom. <laughs> Whoops. Well, hey, we got some cool facts here. How about number one? Fallout Three was originally being developed by Black Isle Studios under the working title Van Buren. However, Black Isle Studios closed down and the rights were sold to Bethesda. Bethesda then scrapped all previous work from Black Isle and built Fallout 3 from the ground up. I think uh, they were like, Bethesda's like, get, they've got boxes and stuff, and they're like, oh yeah, thanks Black Isle, appreciate this. This is going to go to good use. Throw it in the dumpster as soon as they leave. <laughs> oh, look, a photo of your daughter. That's fantastic. Oh, that's trash. Great, trash. Well, Fallout 3 was the first Fallout to have the first person perspective, right? Like all the Fallouts up to then have been more of like a, like a bird's eye kind of view, right? Like Fallout 1 and 2? Sure, if you say so. Well, I mean, like they were they were that weird sort of like that almost not point and click. I don't know. I never played Fallout One or Two. Oh no, but yeah. I, I think Fallout Three is the first sort of first person one though. I know I, I could fact, be way wrong. Jack, there. people people didn't ask for six facts. All for right, five. all right, fine. But uh, anyway, that's pretty cool that they built it, you know, from the ground up. All right, number two. At one point, Fallout 3 was refused classification in Australia because of the in-game use of morphine to ignore limb pain. The developers decided to not only revise the Australian version of the game, but all versions of the game as well, regardless of the location. Yeah. As a result, morphine was renamed to Med X. That makes sense to me. I mean, yeah. in a game where your job is to shoot the heads off of everybody on the fucking planet. <laughs> Heaven forbid you use drugs. Heaven forbid you use uh, something like morphine to kill pain. Yeah. Heaven forbid you use a drug like morphine for its intended use. Yeah, that, that's horrible. It's, it's sort of that weird, you know, class, that, the weird thing where violence is, is awesome and okay, but, you know, nudity drug and use drug and use sex. is terrible. Boobies and yeah. pot. You throw a nipple Watch into out. a game. Oh, my God. Jesus Christ, no nipples, please. <laughs> All right, number three. Artist Grant Struthers developed a prototype for the VATS camera system by filming his Incredibles action figures fighting. That's kind of cool. I would love to see that footage. I wonder if that exists somewhere. Yeah, that's weird. Like the raw footage stuff of them, you know, developing that. It's crazy to me that Incredibles came out before Fallout 3 did. Is that true? Oh, I, mean, I, I would imagine must, so must if be. he has action figures. I mean, I guess maybe they made action figures before the game. Movie maybe was out, maybe he had an inside track. That's pretty cool. All right, number four. The player character in the game is called the Lone Wanderer. Executive producer Todd Howard's infant son voiced this character as a baby on his first birthday. I had no idea. That's pretty cool. That's interesting. I like that. That's neat. Did you, uh, like... Did you like the uh, the gangs that early on in the beginning of the game? Like, what was that the tunnel snakes oh, or what were they called? T tunnel rats. Tunnel snakes. Rule. Tunnel, snakes. tunnel, tunnel snakes. snakes. Thank you. I, I, I get I get them confused with the uh, with the sewer shark guys. What were the? <laughs> do you remember that Sega CD game? Oh, I used to have that game. Yeah, uh, um, sewer shark. Yeah. God damn, I forget. The game was awesome. Uh, dog FMV. Your name was Dog Meat, and you, you slowly <laughs> worked your name up until. Well, anyway, that's a whole other game for a whole different five packs. <laughs> All right, and last but not least, the cars in Fallout 3 are based on a nuclear power concept car that was designed by the Ford Motor Company in 1958. So they stole it. They stole it blatantly. <laughs> if I was Ford, I'd be looking for some payback. Man, that'd be, that's kind of cool, though. I, I love the idea that there was a nuclear-powered car developed <laughs> like, <laughs> before anyone realized what, you know. Actually, that was after the A-bomb, so, man. That would guys. make fender benders uh, a whole different thing. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> Jesus. Well, not the Eldorado. What was the name of the car that had the, uh, the Pinto? The Pinto, yeah. <laughs> I was thinking that was like a nuclear reactor Ding. in the back. It just explode and take <laughs> out half of a city. 
That'd be great, man. But yeah, Fallout 3 is one of those games that I remember the first trailer for it, where it was like the close up of the radio and that slow pull out to reveal the destroyed the city. Yeah. That was just like, holy crap, this is pretty spectacular. And I, the, like the storytelling in the game was fantastic. And so it's kind of cool to see that, you know, we're like New Vegas came out and this, the storytelling was pretty cool in that. The really, really neat, interesting characters and the fact that your, you know, character really doesn't say anything. Yeah, you but, were a big New Vegas fan, right? I liked it a lot, yeah. Yeah. It was cool, but anyway, well, that is Fallout 3, and we'll be back next week with even more.